So in my last video where I took a look at the best song from every classic Sonic game, I asked you guys if you wanted to see me make a part 2 where we keep going through the Sonic series and explore the music of the adventure era. And well, the result was a resounding yes. By the way, thank you guys so much for leaving me all that feedback. You all have been so kind and encouraging, and it's been really cool to get to hear your thoughts and opinions about what your picks for the top tracks would have been. If you want to see more of these kinds of videos, for example, a part 3 in this series where we take a look at the music from the Boost era Sonic games, please consider subscribing to the channel. That lets me know you guys are enjoying yourselves and want to see more of my content, because as long as you guys want it, I'll keep creating it. Anyway, enough with the fanfare. Let's get this rock party started. I'm Lemon Cake Studios, and today we'll be diving into the question, what's the best song from every adventure era Sonic game? In my opinion, the music of Sonic Adventure is a kind of poetic parallel to that of the original Sonic the Hedgehog. If you watch my video about the best song from every classic Sonic game, you'll remember I commented on how all the songs there are relatively equal to each other in terms of quality. And somehow, that statement is even more true with Sonic Adventure. This game's soundtrack has impressively consistent quality across the board. Every single one of the level themes is beyond perfect. It would have been so hard for me to pick a favorite song here because there's just so many good ones to choose from. But thankfully, Sonic Team made my job pretty easy by including a song that manages to outshine everything else. Sonic's first true hard rock vocal theme, Open Your Heart. You know what? Forget the fact that this song is a vocal track. If you were to remove the lyrics and just leave it as an instrumental, it would still easily come out on top. The guitar riffs carry everything. I'm hard pressed to think of anything that matches the pure hype factor they bring to the table. And when you do put that together with the deep throated vocals singing their dire but unrelenting lyrics, you end up with a match made in heaven. Okay, sure, its rhyming scheme may be completely out of whack and it takes itself a little too seriously with some of the more nonsensical lyrics, but I mean, if you're not head banging uncontrollably while battling perfect chaos, then well, I guess you just don't like hard rock, I don't know. Hmm, the best song from Sonic Adventure 2. Dude, I, I just don't know, nothing comes to mind. No, wait, hang on, give me a sec, it's on the tip of my tongue. You're joking, right? Alright, story time. So earlier this year I went to the Sonic Symphony Orchestra, right? It was really cool. Got to hear all my favorite Sonic songs played live and had a great time. But you know the moment I look back on that always leaves me speechless no matter how many times I think about it? The sound of over 1,500 people singing the opening verse of City Escape at the exact same time. It was insane. This song is insane. Its legacy is insane. Beloved by every Sonic fan on the face of the earth, and for good reason. It's almost indescribable how perfectly this song works. But I mean, that's the point of this entire video, so I'm gonna try my best. First off, the opening lick. Name me five video game sound cues more iconic than this. It phenomenally sets the stage for the entire song, cueing you into the uplifting and energizing vibe. Next, the instrumentals. The quick paced percussion is so grounded and yet moves with so much grace, and the electric guitar manages to complement its rhythmic beat without giving up its own identity within the song either. But the true selling point, and the thing that makes City Escape the song it's remembered as today, are the vocals. From that first- <laughs> You can feel all the passion that Ted Poley and Tony Harnell put into this song. But it isn't just the voice, it's the lyrics that complete it. Those catchy, energizing bars that fit the melody like a glove. They're sharp, they're focused, but they don't take themselves too seriously either, as it would make them feel out of place. It's one of the most well thought out, finely crafted, and flawlessly executed songs a video game has ever had the honor of containing, even to this day. The industry is yet to create anything like it. I think the music of Sonic Heroes really encapsulates this game's position in the franchise as a whole. It was the first Sonic game released after Sega went multi-platform, and they decided to scale the project down a bit compared to the grandiose fanfare that was Sonic Adventure 2. The characterization has a younger appeal, the locales are less gritty, and even the music itself reflects this toned-down vibe. Not in a downgrade kind of way, but in a simplified kind of way. And even if none of the songs here hit as hard as anything from the Adventure series, there's always been one I have as a favorite for just how unique and inspiring it is. The theme of Frog Forest. I don't 
don't know what it is about this song. The atmospheric melody is so gentle and mellow, and in combination with the rolling percussion, it creates a psychedelic, almost dreamlike experience, which couldn't be more fitting for a surreal, mind-bending jungle floating among the clouds. And like all of Sonic Hero songs, and what I'd say they're all best at, is reflecting the gameplay elements of the level with their musical cues. The ascending notes of the melody reflecting your ascension up the trees, the constant tapping of the cymbal helping you keep a rhythmic pace on the grind rails and swings, and the simplistic beauty of the bridge bringing to life the serenity of the wild all around you. Even if it isn't an instant classic like the other tunes we've looked at so far, Frog Forest shows that good video game music doesn't necessarily have to be. It does exactly what it's intended to, and in a straightforward romp of a game like Sonic Heroes, you can't really ask for anything more. Alright, now it's time for the game I've been wanting to talk about this entire video- Hold up, hold up! Yeah, you know this guy? All you Shadow fans had better thank Andrew Hall 6479 because if it wasn't for their comment in the last video asking if I'd include a Shadow the Hedgehog song on this list, gonna be honest, I probably wouldn't have. But since you all asked for it, here it is. Originally, I wanted to go with All Hail Shadow as my favorite, but then I realized I only liked the remade version from Sonic 06, and since none of the other vocal tracks really stick out to me in any way, ranging from actually terrible to really I'm not the biggest fan of I Am All of Me, I decided to go with my favorite level theme, Digital Circuit. This one stands out to me because it's the only level theme in the entire game that doesn't sound like a dystopian bass solo the entire time. It's fine, I kinda like it, but not enough to wanna keep talking about it. You know what I do wanna talk about though? Sonic 06. Oh, Sonic 06? Ha! You stupid Sonic fans with your stupid bad games that you say you hate but secretly love because you're insecure and stupid! Look at us, sophisticated Zelda fans and Mario fans with our beautiful, flawless Game of the Year franchises that are actually good and respected. Your stupid series will never amount to anything and is destined for a legacy of mediocrity and- Okay, okay, yes, fine, I get it. But... can your Zelda game do anything like this? <laughs> Really? Nothing? Yeah, I told you we're best at something! Sonic is best at something! Nobody wanted to admit it! Sonic's got the best music! What are you gonna do about- Ow, I think I'm actually deaf right now, dude. Chill out, there was no need to yell. Look, you can call Sonic 06 whatever messy, buggy, unfinished heap of garbage that you want, but you cannot disrespect the OST. There are only two things that show this game was the big budget, triple-A, huge franchise title that it was supposed to be. The pre-rendered cutscenes, and to some extent even those fall short at times, and the score. This is the thing that amazes me about Sonic, and makes me proud to call myself a diehard fan, even to the bitter end. No matter how broken, slapped together, or downright horrendous an entry may be, it still manages to have not only the best soundtrack of all its competition, but it also manages to outdo itself with every new game, every single time. And the song that embodies this quality of Sonic 06's soundtrack, the one that is indicative of my love for its unorthodox and yet true-to-form sound, the best song from this game with a soundtrack among soundtracks. Oh, that's easy. His World. You already heard me play it at the beginning of this segment, and I don't think there's much I have to explain. The instrumental on its own is downright breathtaking. It's concentrated melody sung out by the rebellious violins, backed by the dead focus percussion, and a gorgeous acoustic guitar that steals the spotlight from me. It's immediately ear-catching, thoroughly engrossing you in its confident vibe and drawing you into its grounded sense of direction, only to drop the vocals like a bomb, shattering your expectations like a stained glass window that's turned to a sea of beautiful colors at your feet. Even after hearing this song dozens of times, and seeing it performed live at the Sonic Symphony Orchestra, I still can't believe the lyrics are real. They're so fresh and free-flowing, with a phenomenal delivery by the punk rock band Zebrahead. And like all the vocal themes before, painting a beautiful picture of Sonic the Hedgehog as the character we all know and love. The free-spirited, carefree, focused hero that he is. I love his world for managing to tell the same song and dance as the other vocal themes, but in a way that we've never even imagined possible before. It's bold, experimental, and really encapsulates the essence of Sonic 06 that unfortunately was unable to be met anywhere else in the game. But that only makes me love it all the more. 
Look, I can admit that Sonic 06 is not the most complete video game of all time, but the fact that songs like His World can carry all that on their shoulders and still make me remember this game fondly is a feat that you'll be hard-pressed to find anywhere else. Sonic the Hedgehog as a franchise may have its flaws, but as the music shows, even those lowest of lows are accompanied by the highest of highs, and I wouldn't have it any other way. What's up guys? Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you're one of the returners from part one of the Sonic music series, I hope this video met all of your expectations. And if you're a newcomer to the channel, I recommend you go check out that video. Now that part two's over, where do you guys want to go from here? Comment down below if you want to see me make a part three to this series, where we'll be covering the best songs from the Sonic Boost era. Why is that one here? Once again, thanks so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. This has been Lemon Cake Studios. Hope you all are having a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.